doesn't matter because they can listen to it anytime. They can listen to it at any time. What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode 10 of Accomplish Nothing Podcast. I don't care if I'm really loud. Thank you for watching. We'll see you <laughs> next week. No, no. Okay, let's let's go back. Nick, are you okay? How are you feeling? I'm feeling like I have a lot of, like, like I, I don't know, I'm feeling cool. You feeling cool? Yeah. How was your week? Am I weak? Why do I sound, do I sound weird again? I don't think so. Oh, okay. Um, uh, my week was pretty good. I've been a uh, busy bee. Busy bee, yeah. Yeah, I uh, I don't really remember anything, to be honest, so I don't really know if I've been a busy bee. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a good sound. This sucks. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I don't really remember my week, to be honest. How do you not remember your week? We're only halfway through. Uh, I don't know. Well, uh, Monday, I accidentally had a lot of marijuana. In, mar- oh, sorry, marijuana in my system. Oh yeah. Unintentionally, and I went to class and everything, and uh, it was not a good day. I don't remember anything. Well, tell me about it. You seem down. You seem down on your luck. Me? Yeah. I'm tired. You tired? I hadn't sleeping. I was tired last week. They uh, they keep keeping me up. Who? I can't say. Come on, bro. I'm not allowed to bro, tell you. Bro, come on, bro. The guys in the suits, they keep me up at night. They say things like, okay, we're just going to do one more needle, and then it's like ten more after that, and they say one more every time. Men in black? Yeah, they're wearing black suits. Will Smith? No, they're bald. Who's bald, the other bald. guy? Uh, uh, Don Corleone? No, the he's uh, a Robert. Oh, Michael, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> He's in no country for old men, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, I'm going to lose my mind if I don't Jormo. think of his name. Oh, it's Bobby Schmidt. No, it's not Bobby Schmidt. <laughs> it's a Robert, dude. Oh, Robert, uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Well, what's his name? I know his name. What's his name, bro? Robert Schmidt. It's not. <laughs> I think his last name's Robert, isn't it? Let me just pull up my brain, my brain uh, sheet. It's Robert Downey Jr. Robert. Uh, it's Tommy Lee Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I think it was Robert? I don't know. Robert's a cool name. Yeah, Tommy Lee Jones. Yeah, but mm-hmm. uh, yeah, they show up in your room and they do what? No, it's not Tommy Lee Jones. They just it's like the men in like I guess they 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 wear black suits and they all bald and they kind of talk it's like, like you are not a man in black. They don't say that to me. Well, they they don't say anything. He really. just says it to Will Smith. When they do talk, they sound like they're recording. Their voices are recorded. Oh really? So it's like their mouth just moving, but no, their mouth is moving, but their voice, like their voice, it's like their voice box is like a weird speaker, and it needs to be updated, or they need to get like replaced. Oh, okay, so it's like through a webcam. Maybe. Like or the like the Hertz is low. Maybe they're androids. Like well, jokes aside, jokes aside. No, okay. that didn't really happen. Everybody, I watched. Nope, last night. Yay! Let's by get Jordan it. Peele. And let me tell you, I'm a bit of a UFO head, you know? I'm a bit of an alien head, you know? I like that stuff. I know a lot about it. For real, bro. Ever since I was a wee boy, I played Destroy All Humans 1 and 2 on the PlayStation 2, and I've been obsessed with aliens ever since. What is your rating out of 10? 9. 9 9.5. Yeah, up, but not the... No, no, no. It was good. It was good. It was good? Yeah. Yeah. No, it was fantastic. I loved it. Let me ask you the first question that I thought of when I first saw it. Did you notice... Oh, spoilers. Yeah, spoilers. Every spoiler ahead. Yeah, don't listen... You can listen to it if you don't care. I suggest you watch the movie. But don't leave. But watch the movie and then come back. If you've seen spoilers, this is what it's going to be. Yeah, if you okay. know what a spoiler is, but not the ones on the back of cars. Have like, it's, it's like, I don't need to explain this. People know what they are. Okay, but anyway, the first scene. Why don't you tell the people shot. at home what a spoiler is? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> so the first shot in Nope by Jordan Peele, 2022. Did you notice that it looked like, you know, the square, like the pulsating green thing? Yep. Oh, yeah. It looked like a film camera, the inside of a film camera. When you look through the viewfinder. 
Is that really what that looks like? Yeah, I did don't you notice know. that? Because mm. it was showing the guy in the jockey or the jockey. Yeah. So it was fil- the very first shot was filming the horse guy. Which oh, is right. a full reflection of the end of the movie. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm. So what does that represent? Mm. I, th- I mean, I think, well, because the whole movie is about getting that shot. It's about, I thought it was about, um, well, about there's a lot of it. There's, you know, it's about spectacle. Yeah. Stuff. I thought it was like a, it was a commentary. Yeah. A spectacle. Yeah. But I think it was also for Jordan Peele in like a meta way. Mm. And he's like, I want to get, I want to make this movie. So I got to get that, that crazy shot. So that's why the end was kind of like a film set in a way. Cause he was wearing like a crew jacket. Did you see that? Like he had crew on his back. Yeah. Like written on it. Well, like the sweatshirt had crew on it. Mm-hmm. And then they were filming it in the movie. Yeah. So it's like they were getting the shot of the movie in the movie. Yeah. No, I thought it was great. Yeah. I, I liked it for the different aspects of it, though. Yeah, I, there's a lot. I liked it because I'm a fuck, I'm a flipping freak, and I like... I'm a fucking freak. I like... I don't know. Well, Obviously, I, there was a lot of direct comment. Like, not direct, I guess, not your average movie viewer, but there's a lot of stuff about Hollywood's... The way they, they risk, like... I don't know, people seem to risk a lot for spectacle. Like, the whole, yeah. the beginning of the movie, or that whole sequence about the chimpanzee, which some people were like, what is it even about? It directly mirrors what they were doing with the alien. Right. It's directly mirrored. So it's, and that's why Stephen Yoon's uh, character died the way he did, was because it's directly mirroring his, she's trying to, like, tame this right. creature. Because he thought yeah. that the monkey, he thought he tamed the monkey in yeah. a way, but he, he didn't. Yeah, it was just... I mean, you, basically, the idea is that there's mm, creek animals have logic, but it's not the same as human logic. It's right. different. Yeah, so, it's cool. Yeah, and that's what it's it's very like they're very base instinct, you know. Yeah. Um, well, I just thought, you know, like I said to you, like the we talked about the alien, mm-hmm. but I said a long time ago to you to watch it because I thought it was the most interesting depiction of an alien. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, I don't want to toot my own horn or anything, but about, so when the, in 2017, when all the, all the UFO stuff was being released by the Pentagon, all the videos. Is that when it was? The two videos. Like the Navy one? Yeah, the Navy one was 2017. I didn't know about that. Or no, 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 it it was a little after that. I think I was living here, so it might have been 2018, maybe 2019. Yeah, I think it was because it was June I don't know. It was when it was a couple of years ago. Yeah. Have you seen them? I saw that. I didn't know about the Navy one before I saw the movie. My brother did. Oh yeah. And then he sent it to me after we saw the movie, and I was like, oh wow. There's a lot now. There's a more. There's more videos. Yeah. There's a new one that was just released a couple of, uh, a couple months ago about it's this plane in a cockpit and you see something go by really fast, and that's all it is. Yeah. It's like thirty. It's like less. It's like thirty. Maybe less than thirty seconds. Yeah. And all it is is just a this pilot recording something outside of his. Um, like his cockpit, and you just see something fly by. It's white, and you don't know what it is. Yeah, and it's real, and it's insane. It's crazy, and no one cares. No one cares. Nobody cares. Nobody. They don't want anything. to believe it. Yeah, it's like it's real. Like you're seeing, like people are seeing. Like these pilots are seeing real things. There's all these people talking about it. At least in the Pentagon, the Congress just had a meeting about it last week. All this stuff is happening. No one cares. No one knows. It sucks. Yeah. It really. Su- when I talk about, it, they're like, "What are you talking about, crackpot?" <laughs> I'm like, dude, you don't, it's real. Like, it's not just made up anymore. It's not like, like, dude, I'm going to get into a bit of a spiel. Okay. There's a thing called Project Blue Book. What was during the Cold War, they wanted to have any information on, like, UFOs or anything anomalous. Am I crackling? No, you're good. You're good. Oh, okay. Anything anomalous, they didn't want anybody to talk about it. So Project Blue Book was basically to defunct any ideas that that were outside of the norm when it came to Anomalous activity, especially in the air. Okay, it's the third time you said anomalous. It's not a uh, word, but go ahead. It is, a, it is a word. Anomalous? Yes. Anonymous. Anomalous. Oh, that's actually a thing. Dude, I I read so much. Don't tell me what no, a word. No, you're dumb. You're dumb. Remember? Remember you're dumb? Okay, let's look this up. Because just so you just just so I can prove that I'm, I'm right and you're wrong, I need to look this up. I didn't know it was a word. If you tell me it's a word, then I but believe you. But you just said it wasn't a word. So you well, I've I'm, never heard it. That's why it's... You know anomaly? You know what that word is? Yeah, 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 I know yeah, what that anomalous is. Anomalous is anomalous? like... It's like, an, it's like, it, it is of anomaly. Okay. Well, then you don't need to look it up. I believe you. No. No, I believe you. No. I didn't know it was a word. I thought it's you were. fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, you stuttered in the past, so I thought you were saying anonymous no. with a lisp. 
It's not the same. Uh, anomalous. De- deviating from what is standard, normal, or expected. I like the word. Okay, I like the word. It's one of my favorite well, words. Well, agree to disagree. The, I just <laughs> looked it up. Anyways, um, they basically, the whole idea of Project Blue Book was to defunct anybody who said that that was, like, that they didn't want anybody to know that it was made of been This is bullshit, Unexplainable. Man. This is bullshit. Yeah. Why? Because, I don't know, they, a lot of reasons. Like a lot, of, it could be. It's a it, sick world we're living in. It could be a lot of different reasons. One, not to scare the general public. Two, it could be because, I mean, they, they blamed a lot of, they, like, I mean, they made, they made them not even known. Like, it could have just been Russian aircraft, or they could have said that they thought it was Russian aircraft. You know. Yeah. Uh, it, it's a lot of different things. I mean, it could just be, who knows? They could, it, that rabbit hole can go real deep on why they did that. But right. Who knows? They can know a lot more than they really know, that we don't know that they know. You know? Does that make sense? Yeah. 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 But anyways, not to sound like a crackpot, but, you know, government can't trust the... Yeah, you're dumb. Yeah. Um, but yeah, anyways, the movie was great. I love the idea that it was a creature. I've said that a couple of years ago. I was like, what are you, what if UFOs are not, like, a bunch of entities within a spaceship? Yeah, a bunch but of weird-looking like, bulb heads. Yeah, but it's like a different dimensional being that we just can't comprehend quite right. Yeah. I think that's fantastic. I think that makes sense because of the way that, it, at least according to the footage and according to the witness testimonies of the pilots, the way it operates is almost as if it has a mind as it thinks. Yes, that is that was. Well, I was going to say, are you done with that? Yeah. I was going to say that's exactly what it acted like in the movie. Yeah, I was like, like it that's wasn't fantastic. It wasn't like defying gravity, or no, it was, it was defying but gravity. It, but it was the way it operated, where it was not acting as if it was a ship. Right. It was acting it was, as if it, it was, was kind of hovering around. Yeah, it was like, acting as if the way a squid would act or yes. a jellyfish would act. Which is why that's a good point because yeah. it looked like that at the end. Yeah, it was like, or it looked like some sort of, yeah, basically. Jellyfish. Yeah. Yeah, but I like noticed it right away because it wasn't like, when it went over the hill, mm-hmm. it, it didn't like go up. It went like, th- it went like. Yeah, it was like. Like it went like parallel to the hill mm-hmm. instead of like a helicopter like hovering over the hill. Yeah. You know? But also, I mean, there's also, like, outside of that, there's also stuff about how a UFO, at least in the cases of the, the real-life incidents, they talk about electromagnetic fields, and that's why power goes out and stuff like that. And that's why it happens in the movie. Who knows? They don't explain it. But the why, the reason why power goes out, at least, I mean, in cases of UFOs in real life, at least from what far as we know, power doesn't always go out because the ships would die if it was nearby, technically. Mm-hmm. Right. It doesn't, it doesn't happen. But there are other cases of sightings. I'm sorry. There are other cases of sightings where... Power can be like glitched out, and that could be due to an electromagnetic wave, and that's why it's anti gravity because that's a real propul- system of propulsion that we can't do mm-hmm. because we don't have the power to produce that. Yeah. But it's real; that's a real thing. Well, then why would the why would the phones go out then? Because it, electromagnetic pulses wipe everything. Like if you have so a just phone, anything with power just yeah, goes so out. So now they have coil guns. Um, they're built, this is weapons, but it's still the same sort of concept. But they have these rail guns. You know what a rail gun is? Yeah, it's like a elect- it's like powered by um, magnetic w- b- electromagnetic waves and it pr- shoots a projectile. Okay. They have coil guns, which are like handheld rail guns at a lower power. If you turn it on near a phone, it fries your phone. Hmm. Or if you, sh- if you shoot it with it near your phone, like if your phone's near it, yeah, it will fry it. That's it's, crazy. Yeah, and that's what, uh, and in concept, that's what if, uh, if, you, were ha- if you were able to control um, electromagnetic waves and have it pushed inward, I think, or maybe outward, I can't remember. Uh, it would float, and it would basically defy gravity because it's, I don't know. I, I forgot all the science. I read about it a while, yeah, that, a while back. but Yeah, that was just, it was like, like if the, if aliens exist, that was it. And I think they do, but like oh, that yeah. was an alien in oh, that yeah. movie. Yeah, like that we were the, watching an alien. Yeah, it felt you know? so, like it didn't feel, it wasn't humanoid. It, like I always, no, it was, there's a book, oh my God, I can never remember the books that I read. There's a book about what aliens would really be like if we experienced them, mm-hmm. or if we ex- came in contact with them. And the book, bas- I have, I'll have to find it. Uh, it basically describes something. It, like, they don't describe it directly, but they have like ideas. And it's all just, they, they reference H.P. Lovecraft in the book. And H.P. Lovecraft's his idea of his creatures were alien because they were just completely incomprehensible. Yeah. We cannot, d- we can't imagine it. And that feel like that was the best representation of yeah. not being able to really imagine. Like, it, looking at it, you don't know what you're looking at. No. And that's what's so fascinating about it. They Especially did, the end, too. Yeah. Like, you don't do, it looks like, it doesn't look alive. No. But it is. Yeah. And that's what's great about that movie. It's the best interpretation of an alien creature to ever 
people had on film. Yeah, I think so. And it beats everything. Like, I guess the other closest thing was that movie with Ryan Reynolds that came out a couple of years ago when they're on the spaceship. But basically, that's just like Venom, but cream color. Wait, what? What movie? Um, it's it was like kind of a flop. It wasn't very good either. Uh, Green Lantern. <laughs> yeah, Green Lantern. <laughs> um, well, I think. What do you think of War of the Worlds, the movie? Uh, the original or the remake? The remake, Tom Cruise. Oh, no, I thought that was awful. Really? I, I got to watch it again, but I thought... I thought that the representation was pretty good, but it yeah. just was goofy. I, thought I was think those ships are cool. Oh, yeah. No, like I think the, World, the original World of... Or like the, the book is really good. Yeah, I should the, read the book. The book is very good. The, the movie was a little goofy, but, I mean, what are you going to do? You know, Tom Cruise, no offense, Tom Cruise... So well, like, the I first, listening. I remember, like, a good part of the movie is, like, a really good sci-fi movie. Oh, but then, yeah. But at some point, it just falls off. That's what. That's all I remember. I yeah. got to watch it again. I think that, um, I think that a lot of Alien movies just don't quite do it right, unfortunately. I feel like that they make it too, like, like, I think, uh, like, some of the best ones still have shitty ratings, but they're just, I don't know how to describe it. They're just too, they're too, like... Like, a lot of aliens are made humanoid. And uh, granted, I think that that's not unlikely, considering the span of the universe. But no one wants to see a humanoid. Right. I want to see something that I, that is alien. I mean, in terms of the definition of alien. Right. I don't want to see something familiar, mm-hmm. you know? So that movie was fantastic. Yeah. Best alien movie I've ever seen in my entire life. And you can't even know. You don't even know if it's really an alien or not. It could be... Right. No, yeah. that, me and my brother were talking about that. It could have just lived on Earth. Yeah, it could be an earthly species that and we just don't yeah, know about. It happens in the clouds. all the time. It could be... In, like, like, they say, like, there's always a bigger fish. Well, what's that? What, that's the bigger fish. There it is. Yeah. And it that's could, true. Yeah. And that's why I find that concept interesting if you apply it to real life. Because they say... So, on the documents that they were released of at least... The U.S. has documents that are kind of a lot of redacted stuff, but the uh, Britain government in the 90s, they had a whole manual written about anomalous aircraft and all sorts of stuff. That I read the whole thing. I can, I have a PDF on my computer saved of it. Um, basically, they talk about it being... Um, uh, uh, basically, I forgot the word for it, but they can go in the water. They, would, they have been Ill- like our, um, uh, witnessed going in the water, air, and maybe space they don't really know that goes high up in the air but what, the, these unidentified yeah yeah unidentified. They're, they're they're both they're all like they're um oh my god there's a word for that but basically they're they go everywhere they have no limits so yeah. with that's something that has no limits and moves as fast as it does i mean have you ever seen a tiger in, real in life, the wild no. no there you go have you ever seen a gorilla in the wild no, I have you ever, okay. At. So let's think. Let's yeah. So let's think about a- animals that are local to us. Have you ever seen a coyote in the wild? No. Yeah, the coyotes here are. There's a bunch of them. There's a, a, a so many. I know I've never seen one. Uh, I saw one fox when I, a fox den lived right in front of my house. I've seen one fox my entire life. Yeah, me too. So when you have a thing that people can't comprehend, or like that that is that defies gravity from what we know, and it is completely incomprehensible to our own understanding. And it could potentially be alive, or maybe it just, like, basically, we have no way of really knowing if it's, like, we have some, like, it, it, it's just incomprehensible, basically. Yeah. It's like, it's an, if it's an animal, if it, like, it's just, it blows my mind. <laughs> like, it's just, like, thinking about it, just animals, not, like, uh, uh, thinking about, a, like, a, like, a cockroach trying to comprehend a, a dog. Yeah. You don't, yeah, that's, that's it a good It never knows. It that's does true. not understand. That's very true. We're trying to come well, even in. us. Yeah. Like, it just, cockroaches will just jump on us. Yeah. For no reason. Yeah, that's what I mean. So, we're trying to, what if we're, comp- like, if you look at the, like, the scale of, like, a food chain, right? We think we're at the top of the food chain. We've always thought we were. We'll probably, we're not. Just if, we're, we're up there. but Logically, we're not. No. Even, like, in the whole span of the universe, we're not. No, no way. No. There's no way. Nope. We're weak as hell. We are <laughs> weak as hell. So, if you have, like, a real, like, I mean... Just going by what they have said, even though people say this can be like experimental aircraft, I'm not so sure. No. Um, no. There's a whole concept in sci-fi called space whales. That was the best, like, if I could think of a space whale, that's what a space whale would be, because mm. it literally sucks up everything. Yeah. Like a, like a space, a whale uses its mass 
to suck things into its mouth. So when it opens its mouth, water will rush in, and then it, like that's how they eat plankton. And yeah. depending on the species, like dude, just imagine like that's so insane. That is the, I, w- I I even though it's it's completely terrifying for that to be real, it makes sense for yeah. UFOs to be a creature. Jordan Peele, I don't know where he got that idea. Maybe he has some. He's definitely a very he's influential just a smart man. dude. Oh yeah, I wonder if he where he got that. Well, he said he got it from inspiration from um, from science. No, from um, from jellyfish. No, like yeah. you said. But he also said flying purple people eater. Which did you, did you ever sing that song when you were in school? Nope. Dude, I feel like I'm the only person. Me and Jordan Peele, we <laughs> I sing that song in school like multiple times when I was a kid. We got a one-eyed, one-horned, giant purple people Yeah, I people never heard eater. it. Really? I've heard of purple people eaters. But I love never, that song. I didn't know it was like a, what is it, a folktale? It's just a song. Just it's a like song. A, it's like a little song. It's like a, what, a nursery rhyme. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. I love that song. It's been stuck in my head since I heard it when I was a kid. It was like my favorite nursery rhyme growing up. That's funny. Yeah. So. Uh, somebody is screaming, we're doing a podcast here. Please shut up. Yeah. What did you think of the scene with the kids in the alien costume? Were you like, oh, great, here's just aliens? No, I was like, well, okay, so that's another thing. So the way, obviously, they did this intentionally. It wasn't supposed to, like, the whole fake-out thing was kind of stupid because they made it, like, there's a, so he, I know for a fact that Jordan Peele must have done a lot of research into sightings because that was not identical, but it was very similar to a sighting that happened in the 70s on this in this shack but it was they don't look like that but they were like glowing goblin creatures Mm -hmm. and everybody who was and there was like six people they all started shooting at them and they were like invulnerable they couldn't they were not getting they they the the bullets were registering or like the they shot them with shotguns and oh really yeah they killed them no they they were getting shot but they were not dying like they were just but they would be knocked back but they would just get back up and they were metallic looking and their eyes were glued and they had these big ears at least every single person who drew what they saw, they didn't talk to each other. Like, they, they all drew the same thing. So if they all saw, like, if this was all just a hoax, they were very, like, and they were just like, this was in Virginia, West Virginia, mm-hmm. I think. I want to say it was. It was in some southern place. And they were not highly educated. And it, they would have been insane for them to all have the same exact thing right. drawn and describe it all the same. Um, and ev- there was like bullet holes through the roof and there was shotgun shells through like windows, broken glass. Oh, <laughs> whoa. There was yeah. a, there was what? what? Shotgun, shotgun rounds blown through balls of lead buckshot. But yeah. Anyways. Anyways. Um, Testing just in case. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways. Going a little f- too far here. It's a really cool story. It was called the Hopsville or um, Hopsville Goblins, I think. I would look it up if you're interested. It's very cool. Yeah, um, sounds. Anyways, that was very brief. There's a lot of sh- s- stuff that ha- I don't want to say. I swear, there's a lot of stuff that happens. In you could sp- swear, man. Let it I don't want to swear. I'm trying to work on it. Oh, okay. I'm That's trying fine. not to swear as much. <laughs> um, for uh, for professional purposes. Just fucking let it. <laughs> just let it fucking rip, dude. I'm trying not to. Fuck. Um, but okay, yeah, so good. anyways, the aliens in the show, in the movie, the ones that were just people in costumes, they behave basically how those ones did, where they're peeking and they're not like engi- synchronized. Yeah, they're they're yeah they're synchronized. They're not engaging and they're defi- like when the case where he was like one of the aliens came out vertically, it came out like it looked vertically outwards, like the body popped out completely vertically. The other one came downwards, like his face was straight down. Yeah, they're defying gravity basically. And they look like they move like this is in the movie or in the story. In the movie, okay. Like they didn't. I wouldn't expect them to be humans because they were walking very strangely, and the way they were moving felt like they were they were lighter in the air. Mm, Do you remember yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. They yeah. were moving very strangely. So that's why I was like, okay, maybe just I don't know. I, the, I think the idea was to because the ones in the in the story were defying gravity in the sense that they were lighter than what they were perceived as in, in the sense of gravity, and yeah. that's how they did it in the movie. And I was like, that's cool. But then when it took the hats off, I was or the, the masks off, I was like, oh man. Why well, well I at first I thought that was the nope. Like I thought that was the point of it being called nope. Oh yeah. Because it's like subverting expectations. Mm-hmm. So it's like I'm gonna advertise this like an alien movie, but nope. It's actually just a Oh you know, it's actually like a weird flying jellyfish, you know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't think that's I think that was one of the points, but like not really the main point. 
Oh, yeah. No, I think the main point was, like, fuck this. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, it was... Oh, yeah, like, you're, it's like, I'm not accepting this. Yeah. Because that's why he had trauma as well. Mm-hmm. And he kept saying nope, which I thought was funny. Yeah. He's like, nope, uh-uh, <laughs> not doing it. Yeah. Like, that part near the end when he's just sitting there and he was like... He looks up. Oh, yeah, the, <laughs> the truck. He's like... Nope. Or, or when he walks... Oh, no, that was the same scene where he walks up and he's there's all this blood raining down in the house and he's just like... Yeah, that dude's a good actor. Oh yeah, he's great. He's in a lot of His stuff. His eyes are crazy. Yeah, he's in a lot of stuff. He, I, first time I saw him was in um in um, uh, Black Mirror, in like the f- second episode of the first season of Black Mirror. Oh, was he? Yeah. Uh, Get Out wasn't his first. Nope, it was Black Mirror. Huh. I remember at least that was the first one I saw him in. You know, the, have you seen Black Mirror, the first season at least? I only saw I've seen before. most of it. I probably couldn't tell you what episode. The later but. seasons aren't as good. No offense to anybody who likes it, but. Uh, the first season is fantastic, and it in the episode, it's like this part where he's they're in like this facility where they have to um, they have to yeah um, basically there we go they have to ride on bikes to get currency and it's like Facebook Meta before Facebook Meta yeah but that's not what Facebook Meta but probably someday that's great wait say that again oh wait wait it's did I see that one it's like they're in a room and there's like when they wake up. Every all, like all the light, all the walls are screens, and they have like an avatar. It's basically like no, what I they, didn't see. That. Oh yeah, no, it's face, it's literally what they showed in Facebook Meta. It's like that, but mm-hmm. in a in a it shows it Dude, before it happens. I don't want to talk about that shit. It's crazy. Um, Art predicting f- the future. Yeah. Um, and it's dysto- it's supposed to be dystopic, and I find it so hilarious that that's what Facebook Meta is. Yeah. It's like the, the idea is it's supposed to be awful. It's supposed to be awful technology, right. and that's literally what Mark Zuckerberg yeah. put in his trailer. And I'm like, God, dude, did you see it and get inspired? Because you're taking it the wrong way. Yeah. Um, shit. I was going to say something about the aliens in Nope. What do you think of the slowed and reverb sunglasses at night? The the The, what? Sl- <laughs> the slowed and reverb scene. Slowed and reverb? Yeah, we're at the... With the sunglasses at night. The song? Yeah. I don't remember. It was slowed and reverb. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it when they were? It was in the tr- in the truck. Yeah, I was like, what was that all about? Was it just supposed to? It was cool. Yeah, that was cool. The whole. I mean, I have to rewatch it because you said you watched it twice. I just saw it for the first time last night. Yeah. So the first. Okay. So the first time I saw it, I was with some friends and we were in Raleigh. And Wait what? I thought it was. Oh, did you see it? I thought you were invited me to see it. Were you in Raleigh? Yeah, that was the second time. Oh, oh, that I invited you. Oh, okay. That is, oh, fuck this stupid piece of shit. <laughs> anyway, um, but as I was watching it, and I don't usually do this, but I was not very immersed, you know. Mm-hmm. And like, I was kind of like, this is like very fast paced. I don't really know what's going on. Did you have low? Ex- did you have high expectations? I had high expectations. Oh, uh, so that's probably that's the, the worst life. thing. To but do. when we were done. Me and my friends were at the same consensus that it was a little, like, all over the place. I know? don't think so at all. Well, I don't know why I thought that the first time. Because, probably just because I'm, you know, I'm a human sponge and I consume everyone's feelings around me. But I'm working on it and I'll get better at it. Mm-hmm. But anyway, um, the second time I watched it, I was really excited to see it. And I saw it in IMAX. So that might have been why, because oh it was filmed God, in I IMAX. Oh, my the sound. And the whole time I was like, this is excellent. Yeah. Like, this is one of... The best movies I've seen this year, maybe even ever. Really? Yeah. You think so? I, def- I definitely think it was one of the best sci-fi movies. It was a good experience. Movies. Yeah. I, I love like I love a good experience watching a movie. Yeah. Instead of just a movie, I like having a good experience. That's why I like Spider-Man so much. Oh, yeah, one. yeah. That was great. Because it was just so... The first time I saw it, you know, everyone was like screaming. It was just fun. Dude, you know? I've never had like two two movies this year. Or was it? Yeah, this year. No, the Northman and this... Are like my like I like Viking stuff, but I don't like shitty Viking stuff because a lot of it's done really poorly. I right. like the actual, I like the mysticism of it and the historical parts of it that are not like uh, romanticized, which a lot of it is, and a lot of Viking media fucking blows. Mm-hmm. No offense to anybody who enjoys it. Yeah, the only good Viking movie out there is a movie called Valhalla with Mads Mikkelsen. It's great. No one no no one knows it, but it's great. Of course. Um, the Northman it was fantastic. Like I was like flabbergasted at how good that movie was. Yeah, I don't know why. And no, yeah, Nope was as well. Two, two, two of my favorite movies I think of all time came out within six months of each other. Yeah, it's crazy. And it's like, I don't know why directors and writers aren't just making things realistic. 
Oh yeah, or just, just don't do it. I, I feel like so many movies. I mean, like you know, um, and this is going to be a little controversial, I think, because I feel like a lot of people bitch about this, bitch about certain people saying this. Like, doesn't matter. Um, people say they don't make films anymore. <laughs> like they don't make like a real, f- like classic film anymore, except for. This movie was, I think, was very much in that example. Like, yeah. like, that was a film. I think it was, I always say, I mean, I didn't hear this from, you didn't hear this from me. I didn't come up with this, but I think it's the modern day Jaws. Oh, yes, dude, definitely. Well, I mean, my girl, I went with my girlfriend last night, mm-hmm. and she said it was like Moby Dick. And I was like, yeah. that's a great example. It was It was like Moby, she was like, this is like a modern day Moby Dick. Well, it's I like, think. I'm going to show my kids this movie one day. Yeah, and, and then like, like, Jaws is like Moby Dick, right. you know, and that's great. Yeah. That's great. I, I, I was like, that's a really good uh, good analogy. Yeah. Um, but what were you going to say? Um, talking about realistic movies? People oh. bitch? Oh, well, I was just saying, like, I mean, you get the Marvel stuff, and, like, you get a lot of movies that are meant to just, they're, they're products. Mm-hmm. You don't get movies with passion, at least in my opinion, yeah. anymore. I mean, yeah, that's a controversial opinion now. But even, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Goodfellas? Not, yeah, Goodfellas? Uh, Ga. What was his name? Scorsese? Scorsese, yeah. Scorsese said that a couple of years ago. He said yeah. the films aren't made anymore. Oh, he was the one that, yeah, he did say that. Yeah, he said yeah. that. He said that it's all money. It's yeah. all corporate. And I was like, you know what? I didn't like The Irishman, but <laughs> but I agree. I thought The Irishman. I don't know, but I mean, I think it's just, I feel like there's people who are still sticking to the way it was, and then there's people who are going forward. There's yeah, no one. There's no one that's... That's like making things, I don't know how to explain it. It's like there's nothing original now. It's either just going with what we already know or taking something and then expanding it. Yeah, you know that's what, I mean? what it is. Yeah, yeah. Feel, that feels there's very... There's nothing in the middle. Yeah, there's nothing, like the new stuff. I mean, even, I don't know, it, it depends. Like, I think Jordan Peele may be the most original filmmaker out there right now. Uh, except yeah. I think one that, of them at least. Yeah, I think the Northman was good, but it wasn't an original story. No, we talked about that, but it was an excellent. It was just a good film. Yeah, it just made sense. Yeah, I mean, also no one's really they vote like so. I don't know if anybody, any of the listeners know this. Amalet is a real person who actually lived. That whole movie is. I know it's very mystical if you haven't seen if you've seen it, but that whole movie took that's historical event that is really, it really yeah it really happened. Oh, I didn't know that according to. Witnesses that, that story is true. That, that really happened. That that story was what inspired Hamlet. That story okay. is what, that Hamlet is based of what happened to Amaleth, which is cool. Same characters and everything. Yeah, Amaleth um, was Amaleth was his real name, and it really happened according to what she said, what the wife said, what she survives. And That's then he went to Mordor to kill his. Not Mordor. <laughs> it was by a volcano. But again, it could have been you know exaggerated. It was a legend, but it really happened. It's yeah. like sort of like, like um. I mean, like, I've, a lot of things are m- made kind of exaggerated, mm-hmm. but it really did occur. Yeah. Emily was a real person. I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, I mean, the, the original story was historical, so it's arguably, like, an historical movie. Um, but, yeah, a lot of, like, original ideas, that's off topic. Original ideas, though, I don't think are very common anymore. No. Well, I was also going to say on the point of, like, expanding ideas... Oh, the movie was called Life, by the way, with Ryan Reynolds. I didn't look it up, but that just popped in my head. Sorry, Life? go on. Yeah. When did it come up? Or when did it come out? A couple of years ago. 2016, maybe. Never heard of it. It's not very good. It's okay. Um, but yeah, on the topic of realistic stories, I think Joker falls in that category mm. as well. Joker was good. Because it really tackles mental illness. Well, yeah, pretty well. Pretty I'd well. Say. Yeah, because it's, it's like it's illness. uncomfortable to watch. Yeah, you know? I mean, it's like sort of a it's sort of a lot in mental illness. It's like a it's like a more of a commentary on the lack of support. I think. Right. Which I thought when I saw that, I was like, okay, this hasn't really been seen that much yeah. in film. I mean, no one really talks about it. That's a political issue. It literally, is a, that's a political issue that is not political. Yeah. The irony. There's so many issues that are political that are not political that are made political. Uh, mental health. I don't want to get political, but you know what I mean. You can get political. Fucking just like, you know, just gonna fucking. <laughs> um, but yeah, that, that, I think Joker's fantastic. It, 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 
that falls under that category, though, yeah. is what I'm saying. Except know? a lot of people take that movie and they think that they're, 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 they're it's literally me. She's literally me. Oh, my God, for real. Yeah. It's like, no, dude, <laughs> that's, that's not a good thing to be. But what I'm trying to get at is that people don't understand that that's, that is what we want in a movie. Yeah. You know? It's like if you do what people want to see, it works. Yeah. But directors don't think that, so they try to be different. Or they dumb it quirky. down, I think. They try to make it really easy. Yeah, or they make, you know. I like I like thinking man's movies. Like, movies that make you wonder. Wonder is, like, an amazing feeling. Like, like that idea, that, that sort of, at least you can't go too far, but, like, sort of seeing something. It's like an art. It's like a painting. Like, a, yeah. like abstract painting, abstract art. You don't, good abstract art. No, no offense to people. There's no bad art, but maybe subjective. You look at a painting and you wonder what it is. Like, that the wonder of what it is is what makes it... Is what makes you like it? Yeah, that's not really that common. I mean, no offense to the Marvel Marvel lads; those movies are okay, but they're all just very like. I'm going to tell you what is happening right. all the time. I don't. I I feel like Spider Man was different though. I don't know. I keep saying it. I think it was different. Yeah, I think it was different than a lot of them. Because well, I think that gave wonder because it's like, oh my god, what can they do now? Because like they just did that. Yeah, I think Spider Man. I mean, Spider Man for the. Uh, I think Spider-Man for, I mean, like the original Spider-Man with Tom McGuire were not designed by corporate entities right. to make money. Right. And I do think that Spider-Man has sort of carried that with it, as opposed to a lot of the other ones. Spider-Man point. has always been a, a movie, I guess. Yeah. A mo- like it's been a, it's before it was the property of like these yeah. industries. It was always a film. Mm-hmm. Like, Spider-Man, the original Spider-Man, even though apparently some people think it's stupid, uh, I showed someone that movie recently, and they said it was really cheesy. The first one? That's the point. It's, it's fucking Sam Raimi, yeah. dog. That's the point. And it's done well. Yeah, it's great. I love. That's, like, one of my favorite movies of all time, the original Spider-Man and yeah. Spider-Man 2, obviously. Like, those both those movies, like, objectively are good movies. Yeah. Like, like no, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's, like, I think that's why Spider-Man is different, because it carries that with it. And obviously... Spoilers, Tobey Maguire is in that movie, and all the villains from the Tobey Maguire movies, are, except for uh, one, are all in that movie. Yeah. And they're great. I mean, dude. Um, they kill it. Yeah. Uh, uh, what's his name? What's the guy who plays uh, Doc Ock? Oh, what's his name? Uh, oh, my God. He's a, he's a Broadway actor. He's a, he's a play. He's a, he, he does Broadway. Derek like, Henry. Is that a name? Did you make that up? <laughs> no. Um, he's a he's a, like a Broadway actor um, before a film star, mm-hmm. and, he, and because he's very uh, a lot. Isn't it Al, Al, Albert uh, uh, Robert Downey Jr.? I think it's Robert Downey Jr. I think it's um, it's Tommy Lee. Jo- it's Robert something. This, yeah, it's Robert. It's Robert. Uh, I think that's his last name. It's Al Alpich. <laughs> Al uh, Alfred M- Molina. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's a he's a he's a Broadway actor, yeah, and I think that's great. Mm-hmm. And then he was picked for the role, and he just plays it fantastic. Yeah, he did great. He's the best actor in the movie. He's the best Doc Ock we've ever seen. Oh yeah, I think he's gonna be yeah. I mean, we've only seen him. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. He's the best Doc Ock we've ever seen. Yeah, easily. Out Without of all of them, out of all the ones in film, he's the best. But see, like, okay, he he beats down the competition. Yeah, he's the Doc. He's <laughs> Doc. He's the eighth Doc Ock. Yeah, he's the best. Um, but. You see that movie, No Way Home. Mm-hmm. Spoiler, it's called No Way Home. Spoiler. Um, it gave, it did a lot of fan service, but well. it did it correctly. Yeah. Because it felt good to see, you know? Yeah. It wasn't just like, we're going to give you this because we want money. It was like, we're going to give you this because it actually excels, or it actually pushes the Marvel story forward. The irony of, dude, sorry, go on. That's pretty much it. Dude, the irony that, and I'm not like super, like I'm not one of those guys who's like the new Star Wars movies suck, but they do, they do. Like the fan service in the Star Wars movies is really bad, <laughs> and they right, and then That's you have No example. Way Home that do, do they, that does it very respectfully and yes. very well. Yes, and the fan service is like in your face in the Star Wars movies, and yes. it's poorly done. No, like the bad. part They're in um, the part in Rogue One where they have the um, they have the um, uh, I don't like you either, people. <laughs> and it's just like, they were just there. And it was like, what like the point was that? Yeah. It's like, like yeah, why are you doing like, what's the point? It doesn't point? mean anything. Yeah. It's like, why don't you do something with it instead of just having it there? Well, the, but the Darth Vader scene in that is pretty well done. 
Yeah, it's still that's the fan service Instagram. Well, that's what I'm saying because it's like right. it shows you why he is. Yeah. Oh yeah. So yeah. That's feared. Yeah. You know? I think the Darth Vader stuff in the Obi Wan show is good too. I didn't. I haven't watched that show. It's all right. It's I not. The first it's not episode. very good. I mean, it's not. A, I mean, it's. I don't. I didn't like a lot of it. But some seasons. Were yeah, I watched the first episode. And I was like, eh. it wasn't very good. Yeah. Although the the grand the the base like uh, the stuff with Obi Wan and, and Anakin. God, I just fucking had a bunch of spit in my mouth. The stuff with Obi Wan and Anakin was great. Everything else was like, ugh. the stuff with Leia was kind of dumb. It was like, ugh, yeah, I didn't think they were gonna go that. I was route like, so like, like ugh, why you just do something original? You don't have to bring back another character. Like, just do it. Do something original. That's what I'm saying, just take what we know and expand it. Yeah. But you can't do that. That's why uh, you know Red Letter Media. Nope. All right, that's a, that's like my favorite YouTube channel for, for movies, and they're very critical. <laughs> like, they're very. They're, they're great, but they're very critical of Star Wars in particular. And they're just like, you can't do it. I disagree with this, but they say you can't do anything original with Star Wars. I disagree. I think you can. I just think they don't because they don't know how. I mean, just. There's people who do original. Like the video games. I mean, the old video games. like old Mandalorian's like, pretty original. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, arguably. I mean, there's a lot of stuff in it that's original. But it's basically like they took Boba Fett's design. And we did it. You know, they haven't, like, added anything brand new to the series. Right. Except for the First Order, which is just the Empire. Yeah. It's like, is that brand new? No. No. Like, the Old Republic did that really well, but that's a video game series. But they, like, the Old Republic is basically in Star Wars, but a lot of it's really different. But it's great. Yeah. That's, like, my favorite. I wish they would do a movie, but I'm scared they're going to mess it up. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. I had another point about nope. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's roll it back. Roll it back to nope. No. How um, about nope? How about nope? Um, the part with the chimpanzee was the scariest part of the movie. Oh yeah, without a doubt. That was the scary. Like the alien was scary, but the part with the chimpanzee—that's real. Like on the whole, tr- you know about Travis the, the chimpanzee, the real no. case of the uh, allegedly he was in some advertisements, but that's not confirmed. But it was a chimpanzee who lived with this. These it was a man and a woman. Uh, I read the whole. I read it for like an hour last night. The entire saga of exactly what happened. But basically, this chimp lived with them for a long time. And then one day, it just lost it, and it ripped someone's fucking hands and face off. And like, Was that with that lady, or was that different? That was a lady, yeah. There was two people involved. One was, her name was Sharla something. That's uh, Sharla Rice, I was think. She, did she own the chimp? Yeah. Like her pet? Yeah, yeah I've it heard was that. like her son. Yeah, I've heard her. that. And yeah. she was on Oprah? Uh, probably, yeah, I think yeah. she was. Yeah, a couple years ago. And Oprah's like, why do you look no, so that weird? No, wasn't, that wasn't Oprah. That was the victim. The, the owner... Well, it didn't have any injuries. It was, oh, it was like okay. a person coming over to help with something. And they, oh, so she just got and also they put she put a fucking Xanax in the in the in the chimp's like food or something, which is like you don't do that. Like that doesn't just because you. Yeah. <coughs> so, I, I I think I'm pretty sure that drugs work differently on different species, except for alcohol. But synthetic drugs, I think, work differently. Hmm. And for some reason, he I mean, I could be completely wrong there, but I'm pretty sure. So they give him a Xanax, and then he ripped someone's fucking so face just up. coked out. Yeah, and that's sort of what happened in... Um, nope. The, yeah. And that's what it's based on. Um, but it's terrifying. Chimpanzees are terrifying. Yeah. And they're, they are the only, they're the closest relation to us. Um, they're like eight times stronger than us, and they are um, um, very angry. <laughs> like I said, yeah. The adult chimps are very angry. They're very violent. Um, they have wars. They wage wars between each other. Yeah, they have yeah. tribes. I knew that. Yeah. yeah, they're in the Stone Age now. Aren't like silverbacks like crazy? No, silverbacks are very friendly. Oh, they are. Yeah, gorillas are the friendliest. I saw some one of those life documentaries. I mean, they're they're not. There's never been like so the whole Harambe thing. The reason why that was so blown up is because they're aggressive because they are big and they are strong. And they know that. No, they they don't know. They it. don't know that. Oh, okay. I mean, I they it. do, but they don't understand. They like, don't understand that, so they so like use for, more of their power than they think. Yeah, so the interesting about apes is that they understand what a baby is. Like, most animals do, but they do because they're apes. We're apes, believe it or not. We're animals. Like, some people seem to not understand that. But we're animals. We're great apes. We are great apes. Oh, we're animals as hell. Yeah, like, we are just great apes. Um, and... Um, gorillas, when the whole Harambe thing happened, this has happened before where they didn't shoot the gorilla, but it grabbed the baby. It was trying to protect the baby because it recognized that it was a baby mm-hmm. or it was a kid or something. Yeah. It happened with babies before. The baby would, they, there was another case where a gorilla picked, up, picked it up and put it near the entrance. Huh. But in this case, they shot it for some reason. 
But that's a big Harambe meme. I actually didn't, I didn't really like know about that story. Like the I just Travis? heard about the name. No, 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 Harambe. Harambe. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, what the fuck is Harambe? <laughs> but basically he fell into the thing and then they shot him because they thought it was going to hurt him. But yeah, gorillas, in, in, even in nature especially, like that's a big one. In nature, there's never ever been witnessed killing a human or hurting a human. Really? Ever. Hmm. Yeah. Um, chimpanzees, not so much. Yeah, they're freaks. They, they eat people sometimes. Yeah. They eat a lot of things. They're, they're, they're carnivores, um, literally herbivores, but they eat a lot of meat. Chim- uh, gorillas are herbivores, huh. um, usually. So do you think that was realistic where the chimp was like, oh, there's my buddy? Um, no, it was because he didn't make eye, eye contact. You're right. Because he was focused on the shoe and also the, the curtain thing. He didn't make eye contact with them. And also it was a child. So you could argue that yeah. was also a part of it. Right. Because it's not, it doesn't see it as a threat. Well, it sees adults as threats. Yeah. Very cool. Very well done. Yeah, and then, well, so the, what do you think of the shoe? Um, what do you make of the shoe? The shoe was, I think they were talking about how when you have a traumatic event, you hyper-focus on one specific detail. Ah. And maybe it just, it was like, it was very on the nose. Yeah. It's just that specific detail happened to be a shoe that was upright. Yeah. It, physics-wise, it would that's that's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's what they were doing. They did, he did tackle... Uh, trauma pretty well in that movie. Oh, yeah. And it's kind of underlying. That was like the th- I think that was like the general theme, I think. Because I mean, it starts off with a traumatic event. And it ends with the... Yeah. Well, like you can tell Steven Yeun's character is still like really holding on to oh, it. Yeah. But he's trying to act like he's not. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know? the whole the whole scene... God, dude. The whole scene where we talked about the SNL skit <laughs> was like... That was screaming that he was not... Yeah, yeah, he yeah, was yeah. coping. Yeah. Like it was comple- completely un... Like, bullshit. Yeah. It was just like trying to make sense of it yeah it's just he was trying to say oh yeah well, i'm fine now <laughs> uh, clearly not yeah that was good yeah the movie was fucking fantastic but and then what did you think of the what do you think of the inside of the ship of the thing i don't know you don't know what to make of it i don't either i think I, it just like compresses oh it's supposed to be digesting but i mean like it could be i mean it could be the I don't know much about the anatomy of jellyfish. I don't even know how they eat, to be honest. Yeah. I thought they, I don't know. So maybe it's supposed to resemble that. Yeah, well, it seemed like it was just kind of like pulsating in. Yeah. Well, I think it's like just swishing them. And that's why all the yeah, blood rains saying. out. Yeah. yeah. But I think that's how, the I mean, jellyfish are all, or squids, that's how they uh, digest things. They squish it. Squid? It's like mus- muscles. They squid it? Yeah. Squid yeah. It. Um. But they don't do the same, like, or, like they, don't, they don't do it the way that a whale does. Yeah. But that's like, that's like, I think it was supposed to be like a whale and a squid that operated like a whale, but it digested like a it squid. It like a squid. And yeah. it looked like a squid, well, not like a squid, you know what I mean? I mean, it kind of moved like a squid. Yeah, like a cephalopod sort of. Like no, yeah, no, it moved like a squid. It would move like a, like a, like a they're not, the, jellyfish aren't cephalopo- um, cephalopods, but it was basically just like, it's supposed to be like a sea creature. I de- like. In the air. Yeah. I like, And that makes sense. Yeah. Because it's anti-gravity. Yeah. Or, yeah. I mean, I'd like to know. I mean, I don't know, dude. Have you seen Signs? Yeah. Uh, I've sat a long, long time, but I want to rewatch it. He did take inspiration. He said he took inspiration from Signs. Was Signs good? I love Signs. Okay. I Me and my brother it. always talk. Because it's such like a, the theme in it is like so, it's like what I live by. What's it about? What is this theme? It's it's like I gotta rewatch it. I should rewatch that actually soon. Well, it's all about like restoring your faith, and it's like fighting demons. Oh, is it about real? Is it really really religious? It's underlying though. Like you wouldn't think is it that, is. Is that M Night Shyamalan? Yeah. Oh. It's like I think it's his best movie. Oh, probably. But everyone thinks Six Sense is. But I don't think anybody's seen Signs. You know. But. Um. Yeah, the, the, they're aliens, but like. Me and my brother have said that they're actually just demons in that movie. They're not very nice, I know that. No, they're not nice. But the whole time, Mel Gibson's just, like, really, he's, like, lost all of his faith. Because, like, he keeps saying, like, I'm not a, I'm not a father anymore. I'm not a pastor. I, I hate God. And then his wife dies. And then, uh, what are you looking at? Shit. Looking up signs. That's not signs. That's not, that's signs? That's... Oh, yeah, that is science. Yeah. But, you know, I'm not going to explain it. I want you to just watch it. Yeah. Um, 
but also the the there's this picture in Signs when they're looking at the book. Do you remember that scene? I, I watched it when I was a kid. I okay, remember well the movie there's traumatized a scene where they're looking though. at like a book of aliens, and there's this shot with like a painting of a house with like two people just dead on the ground, and the house is on fire, and like a spaceship is above the house, and it looked exactly yeah, it, like it, the it, house it, in Nope with blood on it. Oh, really? It was like like the exact same shot. Oh, really? Yeah, with wow. like the ship over it. It was the exact same thing. So I think that's why he took inspiration from it. That's cool. But yeah. But I, yeah, you should I definitely watch, watch it. I like alien movies. Have you seen Fire in the Sky? I've seen that scene. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I haven't seen the movie. That one's good. That one's based off a real thing that allegedly happened to a person. He went missing for a while, and then he came, showed up. He was with his friends or something, and they were, and I think this is the same story. In real life, allegedly, you know, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. But um, allegedly, he was in the woods with his friends, and they... They went to, a, like, a light, and then it started freaking out. It mm -hmm. was, like, a floating light, and then they left him. And then he was gone for, like, a couple of weeks, and then he showed up, and this is the story. Yeah. I hear the movie's not that great. I haven't seen it. I want to watch it the same way. I've seen that scene, though. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I need to see another Alien movie. Nope. nope. I, I want to watch. I wish there were more good Alien movies. I feel like I wish there were more sci-fi horror movies. There's not enough. There's not enough good ones. There's so much you can do with that. Like sci-fi horror, like when you when you when you like maybe it's because it's just it's just me. For anybody who didn't know, I don't know if I said this, but I'm a bit of a biochemist major. Yeah, you're a bit of a loser. Yeah, um, I'm a big science boy. I love science. I love all things science. Uh -huh. I think science is scary. I think it can be really fucking scary. Yeah, there's so much that is terrifying. Yeah, and I think it, and, and and you can <laughs> apply it to, like like dude, oh my god. There's so much. There's so much you can do with it. Like, even, like, dude, like, Planet of the Apes is great. Planet of the Apes is a good sci-fi horror, Which even one? though it's not. The old, the, the, the new original? ones. The new ones. Oh, the newer ones. Yeah. yeah. I do like the newer ones. Yeah, the originals are suck. No offense. Oh, really? You I think, think so? they're awful. Yeah, they're just so stupid. The new ones are a lot more, like, I mean, they're not really horror. They're more, like, action thriller. Yeah. But I think they make good, like, in a vacuum, they make a decent horror movie. Mm -hmm. If you look at it through a different perspective. If you look at it to, like, if you really apply it to real life, it wouldn't be like that, but I think it'd be similar. What if they tried to turn apes into people? They did that. I mean, they, what do you mean? They tried to? They already, China tried to do that. No, what did you just say? Oh, oh yeah, in real life, I feel that. If, they, if, if that was successful, I mean, they already tried. Did I talk? I think I talked about that in a recent, maybe the last podcast. I thought no. I, oh, I never talked about this. China um, did uh, transplant. This is happening a couple of years ago. China did a transplant of. Um, also, this was leaked, so we've probably done it too, but we don't know. Yeah. Probably, if China did it, we did it. Um, China uh, injected human brain cells into chimp embryos, and the transplant was successful, so it it worked. And then they killed the embryos <laughs> because it was like, allegedly, they could still be alive for all we know. But they uh, they eliminated the embryos after the transplant was successful. Well, what do you mean? What does it mean that it worked? The transplant was successful. So they the the human brain cells were accepted into the embryo's brain. So what would that have done? Uh, we don't know. <laughs> we don't know. Okay. It could have made a. It could have given them a conscience. It could have given them. It could have made them. I mean, obviously, it would have affected their intelligence or their. It could have made them. Mentally uh, uh, challenged. What's I don't want to give any species a conscious. Oh yeah, I feel bad. You oh yeah, that's you don't true want too. that thing. Yeah, <laughs> or it could be mean. Like, dude, chimps are already mean. Imagine making them have a emotion. Like, yeah. Mm, yeah. No, I don't want to do that. Like, I mean, the chimps are really smart. They have um, spindle cells, I think, which. They're, that's what makes them closest to us. That's why they can be. I, that's I think that's why the idea is that they can. They have brains that are similar to us. Mm -hmm. um, so giving them human intelligence, I don't think would be too difficult. Uh, clearly, uh, if they like, that's very interesting stuff. Yeah, but it's also terrifying. I don't think they can ever speak though. I don't think they're. I don't think they have the anatomy. Yeah, I don't think they're biologically. Uh, but adept. they they would do um, sign language probably. Yeah. Or they would. I mean, who knows? I uh, like with Jurassic Park, um, life finds a way. I want to say anything. Well, they'd have to adapt. Yeah. If they wanted to, if they really wanted to tell me off. They'd have to adapt. <laughs> That's what I was talking about before we started recording. 
just think in, like, I'm a, I like the old Fallout games, and there's the forced evolutionary virus, which is basically just it's forcing evolution to speed up. I think that's so cool. Terrifying. It's interesting. Yeah, it's but very, scary, very but it's cool. interesting. I would love, I would love to have a bit of that and just have my way with things. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, um, yeah, nope. Go see nope. This is my Hot Ones episode. Go see Nope. Yeah, sorry we just spoiled the whole thing, but watch it anyway. We didn't really. We didn't really say that it's much. It's great. It's great. So great. It's a good movie. We need more Nopes. Um, I still haven't seen his other movies. Well, the whole... Th- okay, we'll keep talking about it. Because the whole thing about, like, not looking into the eye... Oh, yeah, yeah. Is that a real thing with animals? Yeah. Like Some, if, like if you look into a dog... Do they feel hostile? Yeah, they take it as a threat. Dogs do that. Chimps do that. Um, a lot of animals do that. Predators. Well, because I, well, I think at the end, Cats, he like did look at it, so he kind of tamed it. I thought, that, I thought that was the end, like he did tame it. Well, they were, yeah, I mean, it tame it in a way where they were using its, they were using its, its um, tracking, like the way it tracks prey, they're using it against it. Yeah. So they're using its, like, like it wouldn't it wouldn't know it was there unless they were looked at it, which is really interesting. Yeah. Well, like, it's um, almost like it was. And that, sorry, go on. No, go ahead. Evolution, like evolution, is interesting and like adapting because it's like it adapted for things to look at it, so it looks strange to find food. Like it looks the way it looks and the way it acts is almost like it adapted to do that over time so that mm. people would see it and that's how it would find its food. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's so cool. Yeah. I don't know if that was intentional, but that's, so, like, that's I think evolution is, I, I think the way things adapt to to feed is, or to just do anything is fantastic. Yeah, so. that's really, like, yeah, smart. Yeah. Like, smart as hell. Especially um, sea creatures, like fish, like different, or, or cephalopods especially. The way they, the way they, like, like uh, you know what a cuttlefish is? Yeah. The, one, the ones that, like, they, they uh, hypnotize fish. Yeah, that's crazy. That's insane. Yeah, like they, they, have you seen videos? No, it's mesmerizing, dude. Even looking at them now, like, like as wanna, a human, you want to eat it? No, you want to just stare at it because you're oh. like, what the hell is that? It's like an alien. Like it literally is like an alien, and it's real. Or like another. There's a couple. Um, oh, what are they called? I'm, I'm gonna. I'm sorry. I'm going on like a big. It's fine, man. It's where would you? Yeah. you could talk. You could talk. Um, there's another, oh my God, there's another species of, uh, jellyfish, I think. Oh my God, I forgot what it's called, but it can, she can pretty much, it can mimic the, it tries to mimic the shape of things. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's a video online of it mimicking the shape of a submarine, kind of trying to, at least the angle of where it was coming at. So the way the, the glass is shaped, um, it mimics that shape of the, on the glass of the submarine, like, a, like one of those. Export of submarines with the cameras inside. You can watch live streams. Yeah, cool stuff. Sea mm-hmm. creatures are insane. Yeah, and the fact that we don't. How much have we discovered of the sea? Uh, not, not a lot. Much. I don't know exactly, but not a lot. I mean, who knows, like, who knows what's in there? New species are found every year, yeah. and big species are found. I mean, like, dude. A lot of people, like. I have a lot of friends in science, and a lot of them don't understand how little we know. Like my favorite quote of all time uh, is by Socrates. I've told you this. Um, and it's, I know that I know nothing. Mm. And it's the best quote. I agree with that so much. Yeah. And people who seem to think that, that we know everything are dumb. No offense to anybody who thinks they know everything. If you think you know everything, if, if go, you're... Yeah. If you think you have a really good understanding of stuff, cool. If you think that, but you have acknowledged the fact that you may be wrong, that you may be wrong about everything. Like that's the, that's that's crazy. You can be easily wrong. Yeah, Theor- they're all theories for a reason. They're called theories because we don't know for sure. We have ideas, and ideas can change. They are probably pretty accurate, most of them, or a lot of the main ones, main staples. But even the law of thermodynamics, they can be ch- they can, depending on the circumstances, there are cases where the law of thermodynamics doesn't always apply the same. What is that? What is the law? I can't remember them. There's three of them, I think. I, I can't remember them off the top of my head. But um, basically it's like how energy cannot be destroyed. or uh, thing, Everything produces energy, right? So mm-hmm. nothing can be just removed or nothing can be infinite because it has to be, it has to, it's, it's like entropy and um, 
if you if you produce energy, it causes heat, basically. Or yeah, if you produce right. like nothing, everything has a limit. It's the base. I think the base of the fundamental idea. So recently, and this is not that interesting, <laughs> really, but um, it, it, in theory, it's cool. You can't say that, bro. We're on a podcast. <laughs> well, Everything I mean, it's interesting. It, well, I mean, it's interesting. It's interesting because it's it exists, but the way it operates, the what it does, is nothing. It's I mean, not nothing. It doesn't do anything. Really. <laughs> it's nothing. Um, they have this time it crystal. It's nothing. They have a time crystal. Basically, like the uh, Infinity Stones. Yeah, basically. No, okay. it, but and I, I'm going to be really. I read this months and months ago, like last year, uh, or maybe almost two years ago. I don't know when it first when it first was. They first started talking about it. I read it on science.org. <laughs> no, really, that's the website. I think it is. I read it on a couple. I, kept, I read a couple of different articles. I read like six or seven articles. Um, basically, it's like a crystal that's used in supercomputers. That it like it like forever just go, like the the uh, the poles change. If you, like, it's a focus crystal, and it changes inf- indefinitely, like infinitely. It just changes. So it basically, it's like, it, it doesn't produce energy, but it also doesn't lose, like it doesn't, like the theory is that it defies the law of thermodynamics because it is doing something and it's not losing or gaining energy, but it's doing something. It's like okay. working, like work, okay, it, yeah, work yeah. in the sense of the, like an equation. Okay. It's producing, it's working, but it's not losing or gaining. Okay, yeah. It doesn't do anything other than that though. But it's still fascinating. It defies the law, technically. It doesn't, but it's complicated. But it's like that's so cool. It, it's like a, that's so fascinating. But I forgot what my point was. Um, lead it back to something about animals looking into their eyes. I can't. You can't. <laughs> I can't I think I tried. I can't. Lead it back to jellyfish. Lead it back to discovering sea animals. Oh, yeah. Um, well, okay. Um, this is all completely, I can't lead it back it's easily. I'm not going to actually at all. I'm just going to talk about that now. Um, did you know the gorilla was first discovered in like the 1920s? Not discovered. They had like ideas of it existing, but the, like science discovered the gorilla in like the 1920s. Really? No. Think about that. That's a big creature. The first ever gorilla I'm seen confirm that. was in 1920s. Yeah, like not 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 seen, but in science, like it was first recognized in science. Really? Yeah. So I think it was. It was we've only known about those for a hundred years. Mm-hmm. So all the history that we have of them has been discovered in a hundred years. Yeah, everything we know about them. At least the at least let me just make sure. I want to confirm this. Oh no, in 1847, the first gorilla skull had been collected and identified. Okay, 200 years. Yeah. Well, uh, the first uh, gorillas were found. No, that sounds about. That sounds realistic. Um, the first mountain gorillas were found in 1902. 1902. Yeah. No, I think that sounds right. Yeah. So I mean, we weren't this, we weren't finding things in. Well, I mean, it, but back in the day, yeah. No, the, we were in. God, dude, we had a lot of expeditions. Been like, we've had expeditions, like. Dude, think about it. For the for. Well, I'm thinking about like Red Dead. <laughs> oh, what do you mean? Like you find bones and shit in Red Dead. Well. And that's what 19. 19- <laughs> well, I mean, we. I mean, granted, we. Like, I don't know. In science, I mean, this is worldwide. Like. Mr. Worldwide. Yeah, Mr. Worldwide. The mountain gorilla uh, subspecies. Yeah, pit bull sound. So they they knew about gorillas, but they mountain gorillas specifically. That's crazy. That's that's. That's still pretty interesting to me. Yeah, it is. Um, like it's basically like the uh, there's a lot of different. There's one specific one that people talk about a lot that's a little controversial. I don't know if it's necessarily I agree with that. They talk about Bigfoot. But there's also other um, alleged species of ape, great apes, that are rumored to exist in more jungle areas of the world. Yeah. But we don't know. Well, I took, I've taken a couple anthropology classes. Really? I love anthropology. I actually really like it. I didn't know I would like it as oh, much. Oh, it's the best, dude. But It's fascinating. All the... Uh, all the, I guess it is the homo, whatever. Erectus? No. All the homos. Okay. <laughs> like, there's a lot of them. Yeah. They're all, they're all the different subspecies? Yeah. There's a lot. There's, there's a fuck a ton. lot. They keep just, dude, and I didn't know it, that. Did you know in the 90s, they thought, I think in the 90s, they only thought that there was the, they thought, so in the 80s, 
they thought that we were derived from Neanderthals in the 80s. Yeah. In the 90s, they thought, they realized, I think that they lived at the same time, but they only thought that they were the Neanderthals and the humans. Now, we know that humans existed at the same time as Neanderthals, as well as, like, who knows how many other species because we find another one every couple of years. Yeah. Like, there's an un- unbelievable amount, probably. And we all existed at the same time. Yeah. And that's prehistoric. Like, that's Ice Age stuff. And, dude, oh, my God, don't even let me get into fossils. So... We could save it if you want. Oh my God, I can talk about this stuff for hours. I know. We could, we could, we okay. could turn this into an anthropology podcast. Uh, no, I mean, I'm not, I'm not an expert, but I know. I know I mean, well, I was going to say, I think I've told you this before because you brought up Bigfoot. Um, there's, a, there's a species of, I don't think it was Homo. <laughs> <laughs> and it was uh, whatever, I couldn't. It was Gigantus something. Gigantopithecus? Yeah. Yeah. And it it looks like a depiction of Bigfoot. Yeah. So I think that's I think they still exist, and I think that's what they are. I, I think it's possible, except Gigantopithecus basically were just giant orangutans, allegedly. That's yeah. what they think. But, but I mean, think about a drawing of Bigfoot. That's yeah. what it looks like. But we know what's funny about that is that um, so Gigantopithecus existed at the same time as humans, right? Especially in North America, um, they think that the legends of the um, Native Americans talking about seeing Bigfoot esque things are all just historical memories or like uh, ancestral memories of G- them experiencing Gigantopithecus and being around that same time yeah. place where they lived. So I'm right. Technically, yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's cool. I think ancestral memory, even though it's not officially confirmed to exist, it would just be hard to uh, confirm that sort of thing. But I think that's so interesting. I've talked to a couple of professors about that. So yeah. I find that idea fascinating. I mean, you got to think, you got to think though, man, like, I mean, if you look at um, the way animals react to certain stimulus, they know when they're babies not to do things. They know what what to associate. Like, like a ba- um, oh my god! So basically, there's a sp- there's a ah oh dude, I cannot remember. There's a specific and it's multiple where a baby just born a couple weeks knows its own predators. I, hmm. I can f- I don't want to look it up right now because it might take me a little bit. But yeah, basically, just shave it. They, they just know. Just shave it. They just and they know <laughs> off instinct. Yeah. Already. Right. That's that. I. That fascinates me. Yeah. That just that's, that that's idea. What, that that's what ancestral memory is. Like just the I, no, just the idea of like instinctual behavior. That's, yeah. That's crazy to me. Yeah. Because like we have it too. Yeah, you adapt. So like if we, like, you could yeah, dude. I mean. This is a bit of a stretch, but you can argue that a baby can learn a how to operate an iPad faster now than a baby could in the 70s yeah. because we know how to do it now and mm-hmm. the parents know how to do it. So yeah. you can argue. I mean, it's all you can't really yeah. prove it. Yeah. But it's fascinating. Yeah. But I was going to say. That's a little pseudoscience. Or not, that's fringe theory stuff, but I think it's cool. Excuse me. I was going to say, um, you got to think, though. Why do we have all of these depictions of things if they don't exist? And that's a very basic thought, but like, it makes sense, you know? Yeah. I like, think why? Like, why do we think a UFO is this disc? You know, that kind of looks like a mushroom. Like, why is it always the same? Well, I think we were talking about that earlier. Yeah. Or like Bigfoot. Why does it always look kind of similar? You know, it has to, like we have to think that somebody saw something at some point. You yeah, know? you know, that's that's a good point. Um, if you look in history, the people have been seeing stuff in the sky for a very long time, and they say that all, well, I mean, there's like, again, theories, theories upon theories about what exactly is going on. Psychologically, they say that it's the fear of the current time. I don't think that's true. I think w- that's... What do you mean? So, like... Uh, that's a hard one to explain because I don't. I don't. I, that's like just. That's like the. Well, who who had all the the dra- Is it Mayans that had all the drawings, whatever that people refer to. Um. Yeah, I think so. What ancient civilization had Aztecs the UFO drawings? Mayans. Aztec, like. From what I think, those drawings looked like the Nope alien. Hmm. But the, but in a lot of those, well, okay. So, oh my God, dude, there's a rabbit hole. We could. Well, <laughs> I, that's why I wanted to bring yeah, it up. Um. I know you know about this stuff. Yeah, so... I know you were there. I was there, yeah. Um, <laughs> so, some of it, it's hard to distinguish what's 
what was real and what's legend. Because uh, Japan has a story, and according to a lot of people's legend, according to other people, it's a factual thing that happened. They talk about a woman who was in a... I don't want to get into this because it's, it's usually considered a legend. But on the other side, in the Bible, there was all these things about these lights in the sky. And all the, like, there's a specific event where there was crosses in the sky. And all those crazy stuff was going on in the sky. I mm-hmm. forgot what it was called. Um, I wish I wish I was like in the midst of... Because I, I go through phases where I'll be obsessed with the idea. And then I'll stop. And I'll forget a lot of the specific names of events. Yeah. Um, um, there's, there's, they used to see ships in the sky, airships, before flying. They said that they saw airships. Uh, sometimes they were described as like sailboats, big sailboats in the sky, because they maybe didn't have an under, another understanding. Yeah. But I think that's fascinating because <laughs> if it's, if it is, Like, if this has been around for a long time, which assuming it has, unless it's something that we made, which I don't think it is. But um, the, what, the, the no mod, Like real UFOs. Okay, yeah. Like, like the real unidentifying objects. Yeah. It could mimic, it could, what if it can make it anything? It could, Itself? It, like what, it, it yeah, can it just can turn just, into anything? It can see, it, it can make it anything. It's like fourth dimensional, maybe being. Yeah. yeah. It mimics a ship because that's what's familiar. So now it mimics saucers because who knows? Yeah, I don't. And also, you know what's also interesting about that? The tic. This is off topic, but the tic tac was like a long cylindrical thing. Do you know Anamana or uh, not Anamana? Uh, Yama. Oh. Um, uh, <laughs> the interstellar asteroid was a uh, cigar shaped. It was long. Really? Yeah. So, so you was, could smoke it. Yeah. No, it was, it was massive, but it was long. I could still it smoke it, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> but they say that it was because of the speed. But at the same time, you know. The tic tac and all, a lot of, like some of the stuff is all like sort of cylindrical. Uh-huh. So what if that was like a mothership? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, but yeah, but the the in the movie, it, I mean, it looked kind of ancient. If you think about it. Yeah. Like it looked like. It looked like it belonged in a desert. Did it not? Yeah, you like know it kind of did. Yeah, because yeah, maybe it's because of the sand. A lot of the sound. That too. But I know it just, it looked like, it just, I don't know, I can't describe it, but it just looked like ancient. Um, primordial, primordial, prim, whatever the fuck the word is. Primordial. I'm going to, have you ever played Breath of the Wild? You haven't? No. What game has like ancient things? I don't know. I can't think of it. But I mean, I guess like Star Wars, you know, like just, okay, think of what's, was it seven? Is that the first of the new series? Or the new uh, yeah. trilogy, seven? Yeah. When she goes to the ship at the beginning? Mm-hmm. It looked kind of like decrepit, and that's kind of what it looked like. Oh, yeah. It looked very know? old, basically. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm getting Oh, at. ancient. Oh, okay, yeah. So yeah. it looked like it had been around for a while. It took a while to get there. But yeah. we got there, and now let's keep going. Yeah. No, I agree. Yeah, I mean, I think that the idea is that they've been around for a very long time. Um, I think they have, if they're in real life, I think, especially. Because there's so many. Uh, well, dude, and just hiding in the clouds. Yeah, bro. that's such a. That's it's such, such an easy idea. Yeah. It's, it's there. Yeah, I, I mean, can go outside. Maybe they're there. Maybe yeah, they're that's out there. The, that's. I think that's fascinating. It's like, crazy. It's such a good uh, hiding spot. Yeah, it's, it's like just in a cloud. It's like nobody a, thought of it's that. It's like a fucking a tiger hiding in a bush. Yeah, it's or perfect. Like, yeah. And you think about it, and he, he didn't he say in the movie he's like, oh, for the past six months I've probably been looking at the same cloud. Yeah. You don't think of that shit, but you might be. Yeah. You know. That's crazy. Because yeah, they all, yeah, it's, I mean, you don't, look, how often do you, have you ever just like looked up in the sky? I do it more yeah. now. Well, I, yeah, I do it more I now. I read a book about mindfulness and it's just like, be aware, you're sur- like, like f- you find a peacefulness in your surroundings. And uh, now I look at the sky a lot. Like I picture I, No, I, I used to do that. I do it. Yeah. I do it. Yeah. But, like you listen to just everything. Yeah. Yeah. But clouds, especially, God, clouds look fucking amazing. They're dude. crazy. Like it is. And they're right there. Yeah. Like today when I was driving to class, cloud the clouds were really low. Yeah. And I was like, this looks crazy. Yeah. Or when you go up in the mountains, it's like mesmerizing. Yeah. And that's just something that's in our sky every I know. Day. They're just there. Yeah. Like they're just floating around. Yeah. And there's aliens in them. Yeah. Usually. Yeah. Allegedly. That, that, Definitely. That if it eats you, it'll scream like you. Mm-hmm. Oh, I think that's just because they echoing outside of the hole. Oh, no. I thought it just like, it just, consu- well, that goes with the idea of it turning into anything. Yeah. It just consumed whatever it 
cons- or it acted like whatever it consumed. I thought it was. I thought it was just them screaming inside of it. No, I think because it spit out their blood. I thought they were already dead. Well, they weren't dead at first. Remember, they were all al- alive. Remember when she had the horse head mm, on her? No, because it was kind of echoed. I think it was screaming. Oh, I thought I, I thought it was screaming because of the sound coming out the bottom. No, but I think it was screaming. I think it it took in what it consumed. Oh yeah, okay, maybe. I feel like that's like a predator thing to do. Yeah. Like to act oh, like something yeah, yeah, else, yeah. you know. Oh yeah, maybe. Yeah. Th- that, that would was actually, creepy though. Yeah, it would be creepy. Oh, you know, like the bear and um. That's and exactly yes. That's yeah. what I thought of when I was watching it. Yeah. I'm glad you just brought that up. Yeah, the bear would scream as the people it was. I love killing. that scene. I'm, yeah. I'm, I take so much inspiration that's a, from that's that scene. An, that's another fucking fantastic. Yeah, we should, horror. we should we should talk about that fucking yeah. movie because I gotta rewatch it if we're gonna talk about it. Well, the well, the end of that, I think that was like an alien. That was, dude. That was a fantastic. You know, it's another one. I forgot about that movie. Yeah, and you don't know what it is. Yeah, it's like what the fuck. That's another fantastic representation of an alien. Yeah, completely just incomprehensible. Yeah, you're like that word, incomprehensible. That word is like what an alien should be in film. Yes. Like without a doubt. Yep. Like uh, that's always like that's why H.P. Lovecraft, even though he was a wacky guy and his person, he was a weird, strange man. Had a lot of, I mean, you know, it's the time, but his ideas in writing were so, like so original that no one can ever, like, ever like I've all the lot of a lot of the stuff that is inspired. I mean, a lot of the stuff that is like sort of like Cronenberg stuff. I think it's all inspired by H.P. Uh, Lovecraft, like the thing. H.P. Lovecraft. Yeah. A lot of that's a cosmic horror. I mean, he's like the grandfather of it. Yeah. And you can argue that this was, that movie was cosmic horror because it's all, it's incomprehensible. You don't know what it is, and it's all, all powerful. At least, feels that way. Yeah, it's just spooky. Yeah. Speaking of the ending of that movie, this is a spoiler. Annihilation or nope? Nope. Okay. Can I, this is an actual spoiler. Okay. This will ruin the movie <laughs> if you listen to this part. Go ahead. Spoiler alert. Skip to insert time here. I'm not gonna, but okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> skip like five minutes or so. Um, the end where they kill it or he dies from the pop, mm. I was like, <laughs> they didn't have to do that. I didn't like yeah. that they killed it. Also, and if they did kill it, they should, and maybe it would, this would be just fans of for me, I think that they should have had a scene where the government showed up and they silenced everybody. Like as if, because it, was, well, like a, it okay. was like a weather balloon. Well, I took, how'd you take the ending? Because I took it as she got the shot, but I think, those news people also, I think they had cameras as well. The so world. I took it as like she's, they're not even get, gonna get recognition mm-hmm. because people are already there looking at it. Yeah. Wait, Did who? you notice that? No. At the end when she is like sitting at the well and then there's people walking up, there's like news people walking oh, up. Oh, I didn't see that. You didn't see, yeah, didn't I, they had that. cameras. Oh, really? Yeah, so I'm pretty sure whatever shot they got or whatever shot she got is gonna like, it's not gonna mean anything. Yeah. Well, the, oh yeah, I guess that's true. I, I don't know. I mean, the movie is very symbolic, so I assume that the scene that I want wouldn't make sense. Yeah. But I still wanted a scene where they were like, it's just a weather balloon. Like, the, the, yeah. It's just like, it's like the government shows up and it's like, you don't know. This is, they, it's like as if they knew about it already. I just would have loved that. God. And then people say he, he was dead at that, the end. Yeah. That would have been a little on the nose, but. No, like what you saw of him wasn't really him. What do you mean? With him on the horse. Oh, yeah. But I think it doesn't really matter if he was dead or not. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. No, I don't think he was dead. I don't, yeah, I don't think it matters. That makes no sense. Yeah. Why would like, that be? What, why would that have to be? Because people like making something out of nothing. That would have not added anything. It, I, I know, it, it makes more sense if he was alive because yeah. he tamed it. Yeah, he tamed it. He, can, yeah. he succeeded. Yeah. Like what he did worked. And it makes like sense. Some animals aren't meant to be tamed. Yeah. Sorry, that was very Arthur Morgan. <laughs> but, yeah, no. Uh, very great. But I like that. I just wish that they had that scene, just because it resembled a weather balloon, like the whole weather balloon thing. What do you think of all the balloon shit? The whole there was there was there was a uh, what the fuck? I got no words. The it's things that you blow up throughout the oh, movie. Oh yeah, 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 like inflatables. Yeah, inflatables. Yeah, throughout the movie. I mean, I think that, like I said, I think Jordan Peele did research about, unless he already was had an interest in it previously, he knew what he was doing when it came to. Like I said before, anomalous activity. Anonymous. Anonymous, like that. <laughs> when he, he knew what he was, he knew what he was doing. He had yeah. so many inspirations. Like you can see him if you knew, like the Hopsville Goblins, Roswell, which is a enormous one. 
at least the aftermath of Roswell and what they said. Well, what, I, I, I don't know, dude. It's crazy. When, when the, uh, what's the new name for UFOs? I didn't UAP, even know about that. UAPs? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even know about that. Yeah, I knew about that. But they that was the that, point. They did that recently, yeah. It's like you're not supposed to hear about it. Unidentified, aer- uh, unidentified aerial phenomenon now. Okay. Unidentified flying object. I guess unidentified aerial phenomenon makes more sense. Yeah. Because, I mean, I think that makes more sense. I think that's why they really changed it, because unidentified flying object does not really sell what it may be. Yeah. Phenomena, I think that makes more yeah. sense. Yep. Uh, like, like, and also, unidentified flying object sounds kind of stupid. <laughs> like yeah, it's, I mean, it's like flying object. Okay. Was it a drone? Yeah, exactly. Then maybe that's why. Unidentified aerial phenomena. Is it a bird? Yeah. I mean, I think phenomena means it's operating as if it doesn't, it's operating in a way that defies our, our, no, our understanding. Yeah. Well, object could be a drone, you know, like yeah. it could just be a drone. You don't know, <laughs> you know, I think that's why they changed it. Okay. But well, let's, let's try to wrap this up here. Talking about Nope. Yeah. We're talking about Nope. We're talking about anthropology. We're talking about UFOs. We're talking about all sorts of crazy stuff. I think we, uh, I think we set up a good platform here. Oh yeah. No, dude, I can. I think now I'm just going to let you go off the, the riff <laughs> on your knowledge. Yeah? I think that's where we should go with this podcast. <laughs> really? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I, I, and I'll I, just make funny fart noises throughout. <laughs> I, I, I know a little like little things about weird stuff. I'll keep I'll keep coming up with, with shit. All right. But, uh, yeah, um, go see Nope. Uh, Please. Nine out of ten for me. 9.5. 9.5? Definitely out of ten. Well, nine out of ten for me. So. What would add the extra point five? If uh, the horse exploded. Yeah, I want more gore. There's <laughs> <laughs> only a little bit. Oh, wait, no, one more thing. Um, the I don't know. I'm a film guy. Mm-hmm. I'm me as well. I'm not a film guy like you are, but I'm... I'm a technical film. film guy. Yeah. I don't know what that ball was. And I haven't looked it up. I don't know. Like the mirror? I know there was gray on it, and 18% gray is a popular thing in film. Like, you want everything to be 18% gray. That's what the color is. Mm -hmm. That's, like, the normal color. And I know I had that on one side, but I don't know why there's a mirror. It didn't make sense. But I guess, I don't know. Whatever. And then the guy's helmet was a mirror. I thought that it was, I thought he was uh, Asian. Like, the the idea was that he couldn't look at it. I thought that's what that was. That he would would reflect back at it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't think he knew that. Oh, yeah, no. I thought that was, I thought that was, it was kind of a cop out because I thought he was like men in black. I thought that was uh, what it was. I think he knew about it. I thought that's what they were doing. Uh, yeah. No. Trying to like stop them from whatever they were doing. Trying to get a picture. That's interesting. But then it was just, I didn't like that character at all. I thought it was stupid. Yeah. I feel like that would have been better if he was like men in black or something. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably right. But would have, actually, you know what? Nine, nine out of ten. If they, if nine they had ten. my fan service, my specific fan service that I wanted, ten. Yeah. And go watch Signs. Oh, we gotta watch Signs. And then we'll talk about that. We should both watch Fire in the Sky, but I don't think I'll watch it in a week. Watch Signs, though. It's a short. Oh, yeah. It's short. I like watch Signs. I gotta watch, no, it doesn't matter. But I'll finish some shows, but yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, so basically, that was the end of the. So basically, so that was the podcast today. Hold up. Who's basically? Hmm? Who's basically? Lee? Who's Bruce? No, who's basic Lee? It's like, it's like, I don't know, Lee, Lee, Johnny, Lee. Whatever. Just shut up. All right. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, Every episode of this podcast has been different, but I like it. So we're going to keep going with the rest. accomplish nothing. Yep. And uh, thank you for listening. Thank you for accomplishing nothing. Although I thought this was a very productive hour and a half. Oh, yeah. I think we did well. Um, yeah, but we'll see you guys next time. And one more thing. Uh, go look inside. Inside.